Hello, back with another video. Um, again, I just want to give thanks to everyone for your love and support, your likes, shares, and subscribes, um, your donations, your super chats. I really appreciate you. So to um, right now we're going to read out of Isaiah. Um, I turned my Bible again, and then this is what it fell on. So I'm on Isaiah 59, warnings against sin. Um, listen, the Lord's arm is not too weak to save you, nor is his ear too deaf to hear you call. It's your sins that, you, that have cut you off from God. Because of your sins, he has turned away and will not listen anymore. Your hands are the hands of murderers, and your fingers are filthy in sin. Your lips are full of lies, and your mouth spews corruption. No one cares about being fair and honest. The people's lawsuits are based on lies. They conceived evil deeds and then give birth to sin. The hatched deadly snakes have weaved spider webs. Whoever falls into their webs will die, and there is danger even in getting near them. Their webs can't be made into clothing, and nothing they do is productive. All their activity is filled with sin, and violence is their trademark. Their feet run to do evil, and they rush to commit murder. They think only about sinning. Misery and destruction always follow them. They don't know where to find peace or what it means to be just good, just and good. Or oh, they have mapped out crooked roads, and no one who follows them knows a moment, a moment's peace. That's, that's crazy, ain't it? Because... Uh, that's just, that's just amazing. Uh, so there is no justice among us, and we know nothing about right living. We look for light, but find only darkness. We look for bright skies, but walk in gloom. We grope like the blind, along a wall, filling our way like people without eyes. Even at brightest moon, noontime, we stumble as though it was dark. Among the living, we are the dead. We growl like hungry bears. We moan like mournful dogs. We look for justice, but it never comes. We look for rescue, but it is far away from us. For our sins are piled up before God and testify against us. Yes, we know what sinners we are. We know we have rebelled and have denied the Lord. We have turned our backs on our God. We know how unfair and oppressive we have been, carefully planning our deceitful lies. Our courts oppose the righteous and the justice is nowhere to be found. Truth stumbles in the streets, and honest, honesty has been outlawed, outlawed. Yes, truth is gone, and anyone who reannounces evil is attacked. The Lord looked and was displeased to find there was no justice. This is definitely a message for our enemies, okay? Because he wants us to know that, for one, he's taking care of it. He can't hear their cries, their praise and everything because he also was there when they were doing the, the killing, the murdering, the stealing. The, he was there. He saw it. He saw everything. And he wants us who has been doing the work, who has been doing right, who has been waiting patiently on him to know that justice will be served and is being served. Rather, depending on what side you're on, well, well rather good or bad. Justice being served on both sides. He was amazed to see that no one intervened to help the oppressed. Oh, Jesus. Amen. So he himself stepped in to save them and was and with his strong arm and his justice sustained him. He put on righteousness as his body armor and placed the helmet of salvation on his head. He clothed himself with a robe of vengeance and wrapped himself in a cloak of divine pa passion he will repay his enemies for their evil deeds his fury will fall on his foes he will pay them back even to the ends of the earth in the west people will respect the name of the lord in the east they will glorify him for he will come like a raging flood tide driven by the breath of the lord the redeemer will come to jerusalem to buy back those in israel who have turned from their sins says the lord and this is my covenant with them, says the Lord. My spirit will not leave them, and neither will these words I have given you. 
They will be on your lips and on the lips of your children and your children's children forever. I, I, the Lord, have spoken in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father God, for breaking generational curses. Thank you, Father God, for restoration, for being our redeemer and our refuge. Thank you, Father God, for stepping in and fighting a battle that is not ours, but is yours and is already won. Thank you for the victory, Father God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your love that's unconditional. For we go astray, for you will never leave us nor forsake us, Father God. And for that, you reign forever. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Glory is yours. Amen. I love you all. Like, share, subscribe. I'll be back with another video.